hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is hitesh and we're going to do another video in substance painter tips series so in this one i'm going to show you how you can create wrinkles on a pillow or a sheet in substance painter without sculpting so i have this pillow model here which i created in maya you can find the tutorial on my channel i'll drop the link in the description or you can click on the i button so i created this basic cloth material in substance painter so now we're going to use some brush and high detail to paint our wrinkles so for that i'm going to take a new fill layer and i'm going to disable all the channels except for height we just need height information to work with and i'm going to turn this up to one and i'm going to add a black mask and then a paint layer so that we can use a brush so i'm going to use any of these brushes so i think this basic hard brush should be fine so what you can do is you can try and paint over it like this so i'm going to make my brush very small and paint like this if you have a pen tablet then that would be better it would give you much better control on your brush and strokes so if I add one layer like this and one like this so this doesn't look good right now so what we are going to do is we are going to add a filter here and search for blur and we're going to use blur for this and make sure your blur filter is always on top of this paint layer and we're going to increase the intensity So I think 2.2 should be fine. And now we can go here on this paint layer and we can continue our wrinkles like this. And you, if you think that these are too strong, so what you can do is you can increase the blur value. And also you can turn down the opacity on this paint layer like this and just go to paint layer again and start adding the wrinkles like this and this would give you holding and wrinkly effect without sculpting your mesh you can also erase this so if you press x this sphere here in the paint properties will turn black and now it is in erasing mode now if you paint it it will erase all these high details so you can add a little bit of variation so that's it that's how you can create wrinkles in substance painter so just try this and play with the settings and the brushes and see what you can create with this so i hope you enjoyed this and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new i will see you in the next one thanks for watching